What's going on, y'all? Happy uh, Wednesday. I just finished a run. Just got uh, 2.5 miles in. I think that's backwards, but you get the point. 2.5 miles. And, um, <clears throat> you know, just want to share a message that, uh, you know, especially if you have fitness goals, right? If you have fitness goals, any goal of any kind, it requires certain actions at a certain rate of consistency. And it just is what it is, right? Um, bottom line is in terms of goals, right? If you want a certain outcome, you got to do the things that build towards that outcome. Um, and that just is what it is, right? Now, if you're someone who has goals in mind and either you're not taking action or you start and stop and can't find that lane of consistency, first of all, totally get it. Totally get it. Um, I am, I can relate, you know, in many areas for myself, it's a very common human experience. Um, and I'd just like to share with you a story about what shifted my energy and my sense of commitment, uh, in, as it relates to fitness, right? Cause for those of you who don't know, I was in incredible shape six years ago, specifically. Um, I was down towards like 14% body fat. I was hiking these really crazy mountains. I was doing doing hit workouts. My nutrition was so clean and uh, it was crazy, right? Maybe I'll, I'll put a, a picture of it on the screen. But uh, since then I had struggled to maintain consistency and I went from, you know, 140, 140 pounds, 14% body fat, all the way up to 180 pounds, 33% body fat this year. You know, that's six years later, but my point is, you know, I had tried to find consistency in the last six years and I just couldn't find it. And it's frustrating, it's discouraging, it's shitty. Um, and the bottom line, the bottom line was that I just wasn't fucking doing what I needed to do. And I was talking to my close buddy of mine who is a crazy fitness guy. He's done bodybuilding competitions. He's done marathons. He's done ultra. Uh, he's done Ironmans. He's, I believe he's he hiked my, Mount Denali. He's gonna do Mount Everest soon. You know, high caliber fitness guy, right? And I was actually at his Ironman event just this May, and I was you know picking his brain. I was like, hey, dude, like, blah 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 blah. Consistency. What do I need to do? Da 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 da. And he was like, dude, if you said that this year, 2024, you wanted to be in shape, it's fucking April, dude. Like, what are you doing? And that was hard to hear, right? Sometimes the things we need to hear, they hurt. And that hurt, right? Because, you know, that's not the, that's not the, you know, oh, you're doing your best or, oh, you'll figure it out or da, 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 I believe in you. It was, dude, you say you have a goal what are you doing to what actions are you taking what are you doing to actually accomplish it <laughs> and uh what that did for me that day that moment was it struck a nerve and it had it shook me out of victimhood it shook me out of my complaining and my excuses and it brought me right to the core of what I needed to hear and embrace, which was, if I want it, I got to do what it takes to get it, period, period. And I have to be 100% down to do it, period, right? Um, and that's not a message you guys haven't heard before, right? Like, it, you've, you've heard that before many times, we all have, but... The difference is that for many of us, when we are when we are struggling to find consistency or whatever, it's because there's a part of us that is will more willing to find excuses, more willing to do what's convenient and easy than to do what's necessary. And the bottom line is if we specifically with fitness, right? If we want to, for example, lose weight, gain muscle, it's not for lack of knowing how. Right? It's for a lack of willing to do what it takes. And that just is what it is, right? Another way of saying that is like being tired of being tired, right? But the bottom line is, is 
it's not going to happen by accident. The action steps are what they are. The consistency is what it is. And now let me take it one step further, one step deeper, right? Because I'll be honest, it can be that simple, but sometimes it's not, right? There are other layers to it. For me personally, I had to get in tune with why I wanted to do all this, right? And it's important to know why and the the reasons why, right? Um, and for me, I was sick and tired of being someone who was starting and stopping. I was sick and tired of being the guy that was going to his buddies. The squirrels are really having fun right now. <laughs> Sorry for all the noise, guys. That's just, we are live out here in real life. Um, I was tired of, I, I want to be the person that is consistent for myself, first of all, right? I was, I'm so tired of being the back and forth. I'm so tired of wanting but not having. I'm so tired of at the beginning of every new year, right? Oh, I'm going to do it. Yeah, this is the year. No, I want to be the guy who it's happening, right? I do it. I am doing it. I've been doing it for years, five years, 10 years. And I want, so there's layers to that too, right? I want to be someone who's an example of health and fitness. I want to be someone that people can be inspired by. I want to be someone that they can go to just like I go to my buddies who are consistent with fitness. I want to be that person for other people, right? As well as I want to be someone who walks the walk, right? And walks the talk. And I know from my own experience and my own actions what it takes to have results and success in this area, right? Because ultimately, I want that for myself and I want that for all of you, for all of us, right? Um, I see it as an opportunity to, you know, to be a leader, right? To be a positive leader, to be a leader for health, to be a leader for people's happiness and fulfillment, right? Because this is not just about, oh, I'm healthy and I'm happy. It's like you're fulfilled, you're aligned, you have integrity within yourself because I know what it's like. We all know what it's like to not be in shape and to not be doing anything about it and let the days go by. And that, that shit hurts. It does. And I, I get it. I fucking, I fucking, I get it, right? Anyway, so that's another piece, right? Like knowing why and what I really want. Because it's not just, oh, I want abs. That was my goal at one point. I want abs. And trust me, I want abs, right? But it's, it's so much deeper than that for me. Because just wanting abs didn't move the needle for me, right? That doesn't really motivate me the, to do and be as consistent as a person needs to be in this area, right? Um, you know, so there's a lot of layers to it. You know, bottom line, though, is, is, you know, if you're someone who wants it but isn't doing anything about it, that's on you. That's on us. And if you don't, if you're still struggling to find that energy or find that shift, uh, reach out to me. Right? Reach out to me. Let's see if, if we can work together. Right. Um, uh, I am a coach after all. Right. My specialty is in shifting people's energies. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, people get stuck or they get stagnant or they feel like there's blind spots, right? There are blind spots that has people not move forward in their lives, right? And, and um, you know, so if you're someone who is struggling to move forward in your life in any area, doesn't mean, doesn't mean that you are, doesn't mean that you don't have success, right? You can be someone who has a ton of success. You can be someone who is a millionaire and not have certain areas of your life moving forward the way you'd like it to, right? And that's not for lack of intelligence, that's not for lack of ability, right? Sometimes we just are stuck and and we don't know what to do and we don't even know why. And sometimes we just need not only someone from the outside, right? But someone who can really listen and hear as well as communicate in such a way that actually moves the needle for you. Right. Anyways, that's it for today. Um, hope you guys are doing well this week. Uh, keep showing up. Keep doing what you know you need to do. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.